Sometimes in our apps or programs, we need to test for certain conditions where we say, if something is this, then I want you to do this. Or if it's not that, then I don't want you to do this. And another way of writing that is by using switch case statements. Let's see what each of these are by implementing some of them inside of our playground. Let's start by creating a var my num is equal to 33, which is my age. And then we're going to say if, because we're going to test something related to my num. And we need to put that test inside of brackets. And we say if my num is equals equals 33. Now equals equals is called the comparison operator. And it checks if my num is equal to the integer of 33. Don't confuse it with a single equals, which is the assignment operator. The assignment operator, if you remember, makes 33 equal to my num. So we're comparing in this if statement. And if this is true, then everything inside of the if statement is going to execute. So open curly braces and Swift should close some below for you. So if this is true, then I want you to print my number. And that should print it out over on the right hand side. There we have our print statement. So my number is definitely equal to 33, therefore it printed. But what if we want to test for a different number? Well, we wouldn't want to write lots of if statements all chained up because there are lots of errors waiting to jump out at you with that approach. What we want to have here is an else statement. So we're saying if my number is not equal to 33, then I would like you to check else if my number is greater than 33. And then I want you to do something. So let's print old man. So now if my number is greater than 33, it should go to this section. So let's change it. Let's put it to 34. And look, we have changed our printed statement. We now have old man. Then what if we were comparing a number and we wanted to run a default statement? So if none of these evaluated to true, we can have a default statement with else, where we don't actually put anything in brackets. We just have a block of code we want to execute. Let's print, in this case, young man. Whoops. And now if I change my num to 31, for example, I am going to get young man printed out. I can even change it to minus 100. And I guess technically that is a really, really young man. And it prints out young man for us. So let me change this back to our 32. And now I want to show you the difference between an if else statement and a switch case. And that is primarily the structure because if else, it kind of gets convoluted and it's hard to read in a program. You know, when you're skimming over your code, that would be difficult to understand immediately what's going on. So a switch case statement kind of gets around that limitation. Let's have a switch. And if you press the autofill, it tells you switch requires a value and then it gives you a case of pattern and code and a default of code. So we're going to pass over the value of my num and we're saying the case where my num is 33, I would like you to print my num. And we can add another case to that if we wish. Let's have case and let's have from zero dot dot backwards triangle 33. So if we have a number between zero and 33, 
then I would like you to print young. And our default code, let's have a print of old. So, whoops, I've got to put that, of course, inside of quotes, and then we should be good to go. Right, so my current value of my num is between 0 and 33, which means my program prints out young. If I change it to 33 exactly, all of my if, else, and switch cases change automatically. So if, else, and switch case allow you to check for a certain condition, and if you have many of them, I would advise you to use the switch case statement method because it's just a little bit neater than a whole string of if-else's.